blessed be, and welcome to the circle of Heka. So the witch's altar. Now this is just an example of a witch's altar. There are many combinations and many, many ways of, of putting it together. So this is just one. We're going to go through the tools very, very quickly, and later on we'll go through each tool in its own little video in a little bit more depth. So we have the cauldron. The cauldron, a lot of the times, is a little bit bigger than this, but this is just one that can sit on the altar and is used for uh, for sending uh, messages to the gods, um, mixing um, spells and, uh, and whatnot. We also have the chalice. The chalice again is a feminine tool. Uh, we have uh, a wine chalice and a water chalice. This one's the water chalice. And it is used to, to mix the salt and, uh, and other feminine uh, qualities that we would like to, to bring to the altar. We also have the spirit candle. Now the spirit candle is the, the, the spark in the, the center. It is the, the spark of life, the, the spirit of the, the altar. We have the pentacle. Now this one is made in wax and it has the sigils of the art on the, on the front. Um, it can also be used uh, made in copper, uh, wood, stone, uh, whatever. The pentacle in the... Uh, it looks quite nice there. We have the athema. This one's a nice elaborate athema. They come in different uh, shapes and different sizes depending on your what you want. Um, and the athema uh, traditionally is not used for cutting anything, so it should actually be slightly blunt. You don't want to don't want to cut yourself in the circle. And it points towards the east. We have the god and goddess candles or statues, uh, some representation of the goddess and god, whether it's a candle or a statue or both. Uh, we have a little modesty patch on our god so that we get the PG rating for this video. Um, it's not usually on there. We have the thurble, and this is for the incense. And uh, we'll be going through some incense in a, in a future video. But... Uh, the thurble is there for the smoke, the incense. It's the, the rising of our prayers upon the, the smoke of the incense. Uh, and it goes up to the gods. And it also makes everything smell quite nice. We have the wand and the scourge. And the scourge is the most misunderstood tool, I think, in Wicca. And we'll be going through some of that uh, at a later date. So thank you very much to... Priestess Lumina, my hand model for today. So that is the Witch's Altar. And uh, thank you so much uh, for watching the rest of this video. And uh, blessed be. Occult Knowledge Apocalypse. So what does that mean? It sounds a little spooky, but let's break it down. Apocalypse 